the video will start in 8 cancel police are investigating the unexplained death of TV presenter Dale Winton aged 62 The star was found collapsed at his home in North London yesterday, with officers looking into what has happened However, detectives have told Mirror Online they are not treating the death as suspicious A spokesman for the Metropolitan Police said police were called by London Ambulance Service at approximately 16.10 hours on Wednesday, 18 April following the death of a man, aged in his 60s, at a residential address in Whetstone The death remains unexplained, although at this early stage the police are not treating it as suspicious A post-mortem examination will be scheduled in due course. Enquiries into the circumstances by officers from Barnet continue. It comes as friends of the supermarket sweep hosts say he had enough of life and hated getting old. LBC radio host Steve Allen, 64, was clearly emotional as he spoke of his close friendship with Dale for almost 50 years on air today He told listeners he didn't like the aging process. He hated it. He used to say to me I've had enough I feel happy for him that he's in a place now where he's probably going to be eternally young He also said that Dale, who openly spoke of his battles with depression, would hint at killing himself Steve said the star would regularly ask him, do you think there'd be a turnout at the funeral? It's also been revealed that a group of friends recently helped Dale move out of his apartment of over 17 years after he decided to suddenly move The supermarket sweep star left his home in Marylebone, West London, and moved to Whetstone around three weeks ago Supermarket Sweep was perhaps Winton's most famous show and catapulted him to fame It saw contestants split into three teams of two, each starting with a clock with 60 seconds on it The teams then attempted to add as much time as possible to the clock by answering questions posed by Winton This was followed by the Big Sweep round, which saw contestants racing around a supermarket collecting shopping items Whoever filled their trolley with items of the most value won the chance to enter the Super Sweep round Supermarket Sweep originally ran from 1993 to 2001 before a 2007 reboot. In 2001, Winton fronted Channel 5's Touch the Truck, which tasked a group of 20 contestants with staying in contact with a stationary vehicle. Whoever kept hold of the truck the longest, won a The endurance show was filmed at the Lakeside Shopping Center in Thurrock, Essex. National Lottery, In It to Win It Winton hosted the National Lotteries In It to Win It for 18 series between 2002 and 2016 The program saw five contestants battle it out for the chance to win up to £100,000 The show included the Saturday Night Thunderball and Lotto Draws. Dutch production company and Immel chose Winton to host their program Show Me What You've Got in 2006. The program did not receive a full series. Winton returned to the BBC in 2008 to present Hole in the Wall. The show saw players trying to maneuver themselves through cutout holes of varying shapes in a large wall moving towards them as they stood in front of a swimming pool Hole in the Wall 
had two teams made up of celebrities and they competed for £10,000 prize money which they donated to their chosen charity. Winton hosted the first series, but was replaced by Strictly Come Dancing's Anton Dupique for the second series. In 2012 Winton hosted the one-off Dale's Great Getaway on ITV. It featured three families competing in a series challenges to try to win up to £15,000 and a holiday. Neighbors say he didn't say goodbye before pals helped him move to his new home in a rented white van. Ian Grant, 84, said it was clear to see he was not in great shape. He said, he moved earlier this month, and when I saw him go I realized that his health wasn't quite right, he did not look that great. It was just a white van, I am assuming it was just friends of his who were just moving boxes. It was just a couple of lads who moved him out in a medium-sized van. It was all quite a surprise, it was all quite sudden, I feel quite regretful that I did not get a chance to say farewell and all the best. Dale and I used to shout at each other and say hello Dale how are you doing? He lived here for at least the 17 years I have been here. He had a Range Rover with a personalized number plate DBI I never knew why he wanted to advertise himself and he had a Bentley too with DW a lot of the time he was not even here, he used to come and go all the time. At Winton's latest home in Todd Ridge, North London, his silver Range Rover with personalized 21 DW number plate was sat in the drive behind a set of iron gates. His next-door neighbor Evelyn Sawyer said he had only moved in around a month ago. I recognized him when he was in the driveway, said the 68-year-old. I felt very proud to live next to a celebrity. He was very friendly, always smiling. His downstairs curtains were usually closed, but you could tell he was in because the lights were on. He didn't have any parties or make lots of noise, she added. Another neighbor said that he had seen the property advertised for rent at £3,000 per month, which he said seemed good value for a five bedroom house worth a million pounds. Dale's death was confirmed by his longtime agent last night. She said, It is with great sadness that we can confirm the passing of Dale Winton who died at home earlier today. While we know many will share this terrible loss, we ask that you respect the family's privacy at this time of grief. No further details were released, but his sudden death shocked even his close friends. Tributes have been flooding in ever since the new broke. Britain's Got Talent judge David Williams took to Twitter to express his sadness. He wrote, Dale was the best company, always outrageous and hilarious. He adored being in show business and loved meeting fans. He devoted his life to making everyone else happy, his friends, the public and his godsons, even though he found it hard to be happy himself. I pray he has found peace. Kate Phillips, controller of entertainment commissioning at the BBC, said, Dale was an immensely well-loved individual who brought a wonderfully unique and special energy to the many programs he presented over the years. He was extremely kind, brilliantly funny and was a true gentleman. It is incredibly sad news that he is no longer with us. All our thoughts are with his friends and family at this time. Fellow TV star Davina McCall said on Twitter, I am so 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 sad to hear about Dale Winton a lovely, warm, kind, sensitive, generous soul with a touch of naughty rip. 
TV presenter Kate Thornton wrote, Sleep tight Al Winton got always such a gent, such a laugh and such a pro Taken way too soon singer Julian Clary wrote, Terribly sad to hear the lovely Dale Winton has died Kind, sweet, truthful man while Nick Knowles added, lovely man. Kind and mischievous, generous and a great storyteller. Same production crew for In It and Who Dares. We'll all miss him. Nell McAndrew, who married Dale in a BBC3 spoof, posted a picture of the couple on their happy day. She wrote, Dale Winton was always warm and kind. Special memories of a lovely man often bumped into each other in the supermarket or on the high street as neighbors before sharing an extra special day together for our wedding thoughts with his family and friends. Lovely, handsome, kind man. Take me out, host Patty McGuinness said the late star was the perfect host. Sad news, he said on Twitter. Back in the day, Supermarket Sweep was the program to watch, 